All right, back to our top story tonight. The House Intelligence Committee voting to release the classified memo. Thanks to a lot of you tweeting out, calling your congressman your, and saying, release the memo. Now, following the vote, Democrats and members of the mainstream media immediately began condemning the move. They don't want to see the memo, and they especially don't want you to see the memo. Take a look. All you need to understand is that the Republicans declared war today on our national security, on classified information. I think we're seeing a breakdown of democracy here. We've never had a situation in which the Congress has moved into a criminal investigation uh, and begun and turned it into a political circus. And that's exactly what's going on here. It looks a lot like Watergate. It also has fringes of the Salem witch trials. Uh, and you throw in the McCarthy hearings, and I think we've got one... Uh, crisis about to happen here. All right, joining us now, former White House Press Secretary for President Trump, Sean Spicer, and former White House Press Secretary for President George W. Bush, Fox News contributor Ari Fleischer. Good to see you both. All right, let's just talk about the origins of all of this. This is important, I think. And the origins are simple. You have an email server investigation that clearly they were exonerating before investigating. Yep. We have the was written months before they even interviewed the main principals. Then we've got a dossier full of Russian lies and propaganda. That was used to influence the American people. That was not true. And then we know it was used as a foundation to get a FISA warrant, to spy on a campaign, and then a president-elect. To me, that's the biggest story in our lifetime. Of It is such a danger, because FISA is all about spying on Americans, and you better have good cause rather than op research that was never verified, as Glenn Simpson said. And you also have the Office of the National Security Advisor and others in the Obama administration unmask, reveal the names of those Americans who were spied on, mm -hmm. and then you, those names were put out for political purposes. And Samantha Power did one a day. That's correct, Sean. And we, one the Bush administration, virtually never did it. The amount of times the Obama administration did it compared to the predecessor, night and day. 300 plus percent increase. We, that was one of the early stories we broke. Yeah. You know, to me, Sean, um, I think the American people need to see it. And I think we need to put all the fixes in so we protect everyone's constitutional rights against unreasonable search and seizure. And we've got to vet out those people that clearly purposely abused this program that was designed to keep Americans safe. Yeah, look, I think that there's a balance. Um, we've got to make sure that people don't abuse the system, that we're not using government information, classified information, uh, to, against American citizens in a way that's being alleged. But we've also got to make sure that it's done in a way that doesn't reveal sources and methods. Uh, so I think there's a balance. And I think that the House should work with the Department of Justice to make sure that this is done in a responsible way so that we get the objective of making sure that there's transparency, that people understand what might have happened, but we do so in a way that doesn't burn uh, a lot of the sources and methods that are used. Okay, to if that's the important, and, and we knew five at least foreign intelligence agencies got a hold of Clinton's email server, oh, and that, they had that's top secret classified right. and special access programming on there. Totally agree with that. I mean, I think that gets lost in the mix here. Is that just because she didn't win an election doesn't mean that you get off of of being investigated? Do you think for that. the fix was in when they exonerated her, writing exoneration letters before investigating? Absolutely. I mean, they were talking about how to water down the language in the press release before the investigation was concluded. And you look back at a lot of the things that are being said now in terms of the text messages and such, and you've got to wonder about what really went in. There's an IG report that's coming out in March. I think that that's going to be revealing as far as what really happened inside the department. Look, one of the things that's interesting about what the Democrats are saying is that if you question anybody in the government right now, you're anti-law enforcement, you're anti-this, that's not true. 99% of the people who work day in and day out in law enforcement and the I've intelligence agencies me... are good, hardworking people Sorry. who care about this country. Yeah, you know, one of the other things they watered down, and I only realized this last week, one of the emails, at least, at least one, more than one of the emails Hillary sent went to President Barack Obama from her private server. And you know what the FBI did in the investigation? They changed the name, but Hillary sent it to Barack, President Obama, Top to a senior government official. They cleaned it up to protect he, Barack he, Obama. Let me ask you this. Because they couldn't handle the idea that the president knew Hillary if had a private committed server. crimes, and they covered for her, yeah. that's not equal justice under the law, number one. Number two, if they're using her paid-for dossier to spy on an opposition campaign, 
That's How right. severe is this to you? Well, Sean, you know that I, on your show, have regularly defended Bob Mueller. I used to defend James Comey on his investigation of Hillary. I can no longer do that. I think the investigation into Hillary has turned out to be a sham. And anybody who loves the FBI, as I've been raised Same to do here. and still do, in this instance, the FBI has let us all down. That is scary. And, and you're, a very, you're not me. I'm a little bit more of a bomb throw. <laughs> all right, when we come back,